One of the attributes the blockchain is often associated with is its immutability. And today we're going to focus on the reason why the blockchain in its technical nature is an immutable database and why we cannot manipulate data that's already in the blockchain afterwards. So let's take a deeper look at the technique of the blockchain. And remember that the blockchain is a chain of blocks, which means there are single blocks in the blockchain that are connected to each other. And the connection between the blocks is made by their hash value. The hash value is a value that's um, unique identifying one block and it depends on the content of the block. So each block has its own hash value which is unique and it's identifying this block, only this block. And therefore each block can reference or point to the block before, which means the fourth block is taking a reference to the third, the third one is taking a reference to the, the second and so on. So that reference is made by the hash value. So what has this to do with the immutability of the blockchain? Let's just go into a short example and propose we have this blockchain you can see here. We have four blocks that are already existing like this in the blockchain. And now we have Bob who is trying to manipulate the third block of this blockchain. The current hash value of the third block is starting with 9f86, so on. And now Bob is changing the content, which means the hash value of the third block is also changing. So block is cha uh, Bob is changing the value and therefore the hash value also changes to a new hash value starting with 40a00. The problem now is that the fourth block is still referencing the third block by its hash value and the hash value of the third block is not valid anymore, the old one. It has a new hash value, the one starting with 40a00. And therefore the reference is not right anymore. So the fourth block is pointing to nowhere. It's causing kind of a null pointer uh, in a technical way and therefore we don't have a blockchain as it was existing before because now we cut off the third block because the fourth block doesn't have a reference anymore to the third block and because every block is related to its neighbor we also cut off the, th the second and the first block because they are connected to the third and th therefore they are also cut off. So that's already the answer to our question and just to sum it up it's not possible to change the blockchain afterwards or to manipulate it because the blocks are connected to each other by the hash value and if we change the content of the blockchain the hash value is changing and therefore the references in the blockchain are not valid anymore. Is it all of the truth? Uh, not really. There is something that should be mentioned here which is another attack and it's called the 51% attack. It's a, spe a special technique uh, to manipulate the blockchain which requires you to have more than 50% of the blockchain's hash power, of the network's hash power. So if you have the majority of the hash power in the network, you're able to double spend the same Bitcoin, for example, several times. And therefore you can manipulate it. But that's another topic. If you want me to talk about this in another video, please leave a comment here and I will make another video if there's a demand for this and we'll link it here. But for now, I hope I help you and see you soon.